Hey guys, Zach here. I'm going to show you guys how I play the forest and uh, my day one shelter in place strategy. What I typically do is I'll use part of the plane as part of my base. So where the hole is in the hull of the plane, I am going to use that as the back half of my base. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for food and drink in the plane. I'm going to grab just enough food to uh, get myself full. And uh, I'm going to grab all the drinks I can find and I'm going to save those later uh, when I need them for energy boosts when I'm out uh, gathering wood and other materials. Then the first thing I'm going to try to build is going to be a fire pit and uh, I'm going to put that just in front of the fuselage of the plane where the hole is and then after that I'm going to go ahead and build walls around that and uh, at the very uh, the very last wall I'm going to build is going to be the wall with the uh, doorway and uh, the fire pit's going to be kind of close to that because that'll keep the uh, cannibals out they're afraid of the fire so we're going to use that as sort of a way to uh, to keep uh, our doorway shielded since we don't actually have a physical door and the last thing that i'll add just before nightfall ideally is the hunting shelter i'll put that inside the walls and that way we have somewhere to recharge our batteries and uh, sleep through the night all right let's get started and i'll just go ahead and fast forward through the uh, the bits of just uh, gathering wood mindlessly so hopefully uh, that'll help keep you engaged and uh, hey I always appreciate a sub and uh, follow on Twitch if you guys want to uh, to watch me do some live streaming with this it's gonna be Accurize on Twitch thanks alright so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just grabbing some food getting enough so that I have a full stomach and full energy I'm grabbing all the drinks I can so that I have uh, some energy on the go when my stamina gets low from running around and chopping down trees I'm going to use those uh, drinks when I'm away from the plane, away from my bed, to uh, re-up my energy. That way I'm not defenseless, because it really does weaken you a lot when you have low stamina. Now you can eat these blueberries too, they'll help with your stamina. Saw that little blue bar on the right, bottom right, uh, jump up a little bit. That's your stamina, the red bar on the left is your vitality, and the stomach in the middle is how full you are. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to knock down as many trees as I can here. Uh, probably somewhere in the range of about five to six. Get some uh, logs going before the cannibals show up. Um, I'd rather be uh, carrying logs than... Uh... Now you heard that little sound there. Uh, that means they're in the area. You heard them cry out too. So just keep your eyes open when it happens. Typically this first group isn't too super aggressive. But uh, there's one right there running in circles. But uh, they will... Uh, they will occasionally attack you, as you'll soon see. So just be ready for them and you'll be fine. Now if you hit these little bushes that are laying there, that'll grab you some leaves. Leaves are your fuel for the fire. So you'll occasionally want to just uh, hit some ferns and hit some of those other uh, uh, tall bushes for some leaves. Okay, came face to, face to face with one there, but I just kind of backed off a little bit. And we both kind of went our separate ways. But then, listen, yep, I heard the footsteps, and uh, I was carrying some logs, so I hit G to drop the logs, and I'm immediately ready to fight, so I'm just going to sidestep here as I see the attack coming, and just get real aggressive. So, we're going to make short work of her, just uh, keep your eyes on the other ones in the group, because occasionally they'll, uh, they'll jump in, third man in and uh, try to attack you. In this case, uh, they, they kind of left me alone, which was uh, fortunate. So she's still alive. Um, takes me a little while here to, to kill her, but uh, I don't know if that may be a glitch or something. But There we go. I think she's dead there, and then uh, I'm pretty sure she's dead now. All right, so when I look at my hand like that, it means that something's changed on my body, and uh, I can see that uh, I have blood all over it. You'll eventually want to go down and wash that off, uh, in a in a nearby water source, otherwise you can risk getting an infection. I don't know if infection has been introduced at, in the 0 0.01 build, but uh, it's probably a good habit to get into. So this guy kind of go at him. I don't know if maybe it's because I'm wearing his uh, girlfriend's blood or not, but he takes off heads for the trees. So sometimes they uh, they kind of freak out if you get a little aggressive. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now the next thing I do is I have my fire pit down. I'm going to, uh, uh, well I have my blueprint for my fire pit down. I'm going to figure out where I want to put my ball, my, my balls, my walls in relation to it. <laughs> Freudian slip I guess. But, uh, so I'm just going to drop it here. It looks pretty good. I'm still carrying, uh, 
the skull of the chick there. You just hit I to get into your inventory. Left click on the item you want to pick up and uh, it'll be in your hands. So I got my axe back here. I'm just going to continue gathering logs. There we go, there's one wall complete. I'm just checking to make sure I can't actually squeeze through the space there. Now I'm going to uh, get the other wall set up here on the opposite side. Look pretty good. Be careful with your blueprints in the uh, early build here, the first build. There's no way to undo a blueprint once you put it down. So you kind of stuck with it there, messing up the, messing up your view for a while. Also remember, there is no save game feature yet. Uh, I'm sure it will be implemented very, very shortly, but in the first build, the 0 0.01 build, uh, it hasn't been implemented yet. So just have fun with it. Get used to uh, the first few days of the game and uh, just learn some good habits. As you can see, I'm hitting those uh, berry bushes pretty heavily so that I don't have to use my drinks. Now I'm gonna go over here to this little mud pit and you can see if I hit E, it kind of takes the mud there, it covers me in mud, which is actually a camouflage. So whenever I have the opportunity to do that, I'll, I'll do it. I don't know if it helps with uh, preventing them from attacking you, uh, coming by your base or anything, but uh, or maybe it just helps you when you're out doing reconnaissance on your own. It just makes you a little less visible, but uh, it's pretty cool either way, so I'm going to roll myself in mud. Tough mudder. All right, so I'm gonna angle this one in a little bit here. Um, I'm gonna kind of bring the opposite walls in towards a point, and you'll see it develop here. But uh, basically, they're gonna come kind of close together, and then I'm gonna put the wall with a doorway in the, in the very front. All right, placing my second to last wall here, angling it in. Just be careful when you hit R and E, they're right next to each other on the keyboard. You hit one by accident and you, you place the blueprint where you really don't wanna put the wall or whatever item you're trying to build. So just be careful with that. Be very conscious about uh, which button you're pushing. Alright, that looks pretty good. So the last wall that I'll build after I get done with this one is going to be the one out front with the doorway. There we go, dusting myself in some more mud. Alright, placing the doorway here. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just going to run over to this suitcase and uh, bust it open. You can run over to any of these suitcases and found a tennis ball and that's that's what you do with tennis balls Alright, there we go. So, all the walls are complete for the uh, shelter for now. And uh, the next thing I'm going to build is going to be the hunting shelter. So, I want to have this so I can sleep through the night. And I can also uh, 
regain health and regain some energy when I sleep here rather than have to use uh, berries and uh, my limited amount of energy drinks. So I'm just going to keep gathering supplies for this. It's starting to uh, get a little bit dark. Nightfall's about to happen. So just want to keep moving. Luckily, we haven't had any more problems with the cannibals. It seems like uh, if you stand your ground when you do get attacked, sometimes... There we go. I got a little tired there, so I had to use an energy drink. But uh, it seems like sometimes if you do stand your ground, they tend to leave you alone. And sometimes there are never-ending waves of them. So I do kind of like the unpredictability in that. You never know uh, what's going to happen, which uh, kind of adds to the suspense of the game. All right, there we go. So we got the uh, the hunting uh, shelter built, and I'm just going to re up that fire. And show you guys the final final product here. So we got our uh, doorway there. Um, the fire being as close as it, as it is to the doorway will keep the uh, cannibals out and keep us safe throughout the night. Well, I sincerely hope that helps you uh, maybe think about a different way to survive day one. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to survive day one and make it to day two and get through day two. I want to show you what I accomplished in day two in this particular game. Uh, I got into uh, some combat after, after dark and I hope you guys enjoy. Give me a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. You want to see me do some live streams, by all means, head over to my Twitch channel. I'll put it in the description, and hit that follow button also, and you'll get a notification when I do start a live stream. We'll hang out, chat, and be good all the time. Take care, guys.